studying law. Studying chemistry. Studying biomedical science. Studying aeronautical engineering. Studying international relations. Law, chemical engineering and environmental science. These are some of the courses that this year's Public Service Commission scholars will be undertaking in local and overseas colleges. 70 scholars out of over 2,000 applicants were sworn in at the PSC Scholarships Award Ceremony on 24th July at the Shangri-La Hotel. PSC Scholarships are awarded solely on merit. There's no cap or quota. Any applicant who meets PSC's high standards will be made an offer regardless of his or her background. In fact, we are seeing more and more applicants from different educational backgrounds, from a wider range of JCs, schools and polytechnics. At this year's ceremony, Deputy Prime Minister, Minister in Charge of the Civil Service and the Minister of Defence, Tio Chi Hien, presented the 70 scholarships. Speaking from his personal experience, he highlighted what it took for one to excel in the Singapore Public Service. Quality of the public service is only as good as the calibre of the people we bring into it. People with a passion, a commitment and understanding that when they join the public service, it is not for self-gratification but for the long-term interest of the country. Citing examples like SARS, H1N1 and the Icelandic volcanic ash problem, DPM Tio emphasised the challenges today were no longer localised but globalised. Because of the nature, complexity and scale of such challenges, all the more must we continue to have public officers who can anticipate the future but who are humble enough to be equally aware that there will always be surprises that we did not anticipate no matter how hard we try. Traditionally, public officers are great problem solvers. In future, they must also be able to identify and seize opportunities for the long-term interests of Singapore. Some scholars share with Razor TV their inspiration to serve the public. My parents actually played a very big role in shaping my, my views and my convictions. Uh, I didn't come from a very well-to-do family, but my parents sacrificed a lot. They took on jobs um, and they took personal sacrifice to ensure that I'm here where I am today. So as a result, um, I learned from them that sometimes it's not about yourself. It's about sacrificing, in, in my case, my dreams and ambition for the public school. So I believe that this is actually a calling that I'm willing to pursue. Both my parents are doctors and I see them commit um, you know, most of their time towards serving their patients. I, know I always wanted to practice law and I believe that if I were to become a deputy public pros prosecutor and if I had taken up the legal service scholarship, it would provide me with the perfect opportunity to give back to others in the same way that my parents have done. Perhaps it was like uh, two years back when I first joined JC. My teacher uh, recommended me to this and groomed me up for it. So I guess that was when I started to realise that uh, to realise that um, serving the nation is uh, what I could do in the future. Whatever their motivations are, these candidates have shown that the call to serve the public requires heart, passion and dedication to their country and its people. Zimbabwe.